Tis the season. Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is winter. It's come. They're talking zero degrees in a couple days, a couple more inches of snow. We've already got about three or four. I guess that means one thing. We better work in the shop. Got a big bud draw bar to put on. And this time, we're gonna do it right. Leg arms will supervise. You'd be a good supervisor. Let's go. Come on in. So Leg Iron Arms is thinking he can probably do it again. So we're gonna sit back and let him try round two on this. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm kind of flexing right now. So um, there's a little, kind of, little bit of pump see, going see on. See that, that ripple in there? Yeah. No. It's legit. <laughs> yeah. He might be our left-handed cameraman. We'll see. Well, what we really did is we decided it by arm wrestling, we had to use our right arm. Yeah. I lost. Thumbs up, buddy. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> well, we're going to use a cherry picker this time. Cherry picker. If you guys don't know what a cherry picker is, this is a cherry picker. Don't know why it's called a cherry picker. It's basically a little crane in the shop. So this is going to get hooked on the back end of this draw bar. And uh, we're going to lift it up with the cherry picker. Might even use a skidster. I don't know. It's parked right here. This is the, the Johnny Bobcat. And we'll use that to push the draw bar maybe in all the way. Use a cherry picker, lift it up, slot it over the back end of this draw bar hitch here. And then the where the pin goes in the draw bar. We'll then take a floor jack. Yes, I know. Leg arms and nemesis, the floor jacks. We'll take a floor jack, put it underneath, lift it up, and then start securing it underneath here. But the thing is, no one's gonna be underneath it. And two, it's gonna be suspended by the cherry picker. And three, I mean, I can always throw a block of wood underneath there too, just in the case it did happen to fall again. And hey, I catch it. He does have another I arm he can catch it with. Arm, can catch it. He can catch it with his other arm. Yeah. I sure he could. Okay, let's do this. You got this, Nick. You got this. Okay, go up too far. Go forward a little bit. Or maybe I did too much first time. Now in a leg iron arms. Yes, that's it. Leg iron arms. Did this. He noticed that there were only four bolts holding this whole plate on and there was an empty hole there. So he went to town and got some big old bolts. Put one in that side, went to put one on this side and it didn't, uh, it doesn't line up perfectly in there and it messed the threads up really bad. So I just put a thread chaser on and cleaned the threads up, but it's still hitting there. There's an edge right on this whole uh, non-threaded part that's too thick. So I'm gonna put in the lathe, I'm gonna turn it down a little bit and then uh, see if we get the slide through, tighten it up. You guys didn't see that. All right, turn that down a little bit. Oh, look at that. It was going clunk and stopping there before. Okay, now to our secret addition to the farm I didn't tell you guys about yet. Don't worry, you'll know soon. Just pretend you didn't see this. Got a couple of these in the mail from Chuck Warner from Warner Plastics. He claims that these are made out of a plastic that no one else in the industry uses. These will last a lot longer. So thank you, Chuck. Let's give it a try. It'll stop this. All that wear like that, see how it's curling that edge over? That's gonna help add some life to that draw bar, so we'll, uh, we'll keep running it. Thank you, Chuck, appreciate it. All right, with the back end all tied up, I gotta now put this on. So there's this big U-shaped bracket right here that goes up underneath the draw bar, and sucks it up tight, and bolts these four bolts around. So we're gonna lift that heavy thing up, put these spacers in, get under there, bolt it up tight, and then I think the draw bar will be done. We can get all this out of here. And then we got something else big planned for this tractor. We'll get there. You guys are gonna love it. Oily mess down here. Is that from all that hydraulic oil? Yeah. Okay. See, I just got to go to the bottom of this thing. So, the plan, 
We're gonna be putting new tires on this bad boy. They got some tread on them, but the new ones are radials, and these are biased. And these just don't have a very good footprint. So the new ones will, and uh, you guys are gonna like them. So they're gonna be going on, but we gotta get the shop ready. It's gonna be quite a job to do this. We're removing all the toolboxes around the other side. We're gonna position the tractor in a spot that we have enough room to work around. And we'll start this tire process, because it's gonna be great. Stay tuned, It'll be fun, let's go. Now that it's positioned and uh, in a good location for them to put, pull the tires off, there's room that you can walk around this thing and uh, yeah, they're going to have a fun time doing this. It would be nice to do this outside, but as the conditions are, well, snowy, coldy, and uh, yeah, it's kind of smoky in here. My eyes are burning. Yeah, we do need to bring the tires in here. They're outside and they're cold. They're not going to be fun to work with cold, so we got to get them in here. So they can warm up. So we'll open yeah. this door up. Okay, let's go get some tires. You guys remember these bad boys? Been in the shop for a couple couple weeks, but they are ready to be put to use. And these are the Optitracks from Titan Tires. And with leg arms out of commission, because he uh, he knew his day was coming, so he injured himself, so he didn't have to do it. We brought on a little bit of uh, extra help here. We've got Michael working with Titan Tires, and uh, you guys have probably seen Scott Sloan. He's been in a couple videos. The one and the only Scott. So we brought another Scott in. Well, yeah, the, the replacement Scott. So, yeah. 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 And we didn't like the bulky other Scott, so we got the taller. And, and by the end of the day, those are going to be filled out. That's yeah. exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> <They'll> be... <laughs> and we got Dad. He's here too. All right. Well, I say let's get started. So we're going to try to do this. Um, I've done a couple of these tires, but not nearly as many as leg arms. I've been mainly the guy just kind of like, hey, hold this bar, and I hold it. So I'm going to try to do a little more of that today, but uh, I think we can do this. So, I know leg arms out of commission, but I gotta do something a little differently here to help him out, you know? Because it's time I step up. Bring a little yeah. bit of muscle to the show, huh? By the way, guys, limited edition. This was, this was the prototype that yeah, my wife real thought it was kind of fun to do this, and a couple of you guys asked to have this done. So, uh, if you want to support me, please uh, get one of these shirts. Actually, it's a really comfy shirt. It's yeah, really nice material. I really like it. He okay. wouldn't share. Okay, well we're making progress. It's a little bit of a job, isn't it? But the drawbar's on, that's good. No one got hurt, that's better. And two, we're getting tires on. But it's gonna take a little bit of effort, a little bit of elbow grease, a lot of tire grease. We'll get these bad boys on, and this girl is gonna be awesome. Because we got a job for it, hopefully before the freeze comes. So, if we can get some time to get on the field, we got something to show you guys, we're gonna be using this to do it. But, next episode, the Dr. Chop is coming in the house. You guys remember him, Dr. Chop from the 9370, the master, the one and only, Ian Auden from Odds Autos. He's coming here and he's gonna do some headliner work inside this thing because I didn't do a very good job. The headliners I made were good, the glue I used was bad. He's coming with some good glue, he's gonna headline that. So, anyways guys, thanks for watching this episode. Hope you guys have a wonderful day and uh, stay tuned for the next one. God bless, catch you later.